the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we celebrate the feast of St. Thomas Aquinas, we want to give thanks to the Lord for the example of such a great man who is an inspiration for students, inspiration for those who are involved in studies, priest and doctor of the church. Let us call to mind our sins and pray for God's mercy and pardon. I confess. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins. May He bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Thomas Aquinas outstanding in his zeal for holiness and his study of sacred doctrine, grant us, we pray, that we may understand what he taught and imitate what he accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed, and prudence was given me. I pleaded, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I prepared her to scepter and throne, and deemed riches nothing in comparison with her, nor did I liken any priceless gem to her, because all gold in view of her is a little sand, and before her silver is to be accounted mire. Beyond health and comeliness I loved her, and I chose to have her rather than the light, because the splendor of her never yields to sleep. Now God grant I speak suitably and value these endowments at their, birth, at their worth, for he is the guide of wisdom and the director of the wise, for both we and our words are in his hands, as well as all prudence and knowledge of crafts. The word of the Lord. Is Thank you. God. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. How shall a young man be faultless in his way? By keeping to your words. Lord, teach me your statutes. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, teach me your statutes. Within my heart I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. Lord, teach me your statutes. In the way of your decrees I rejoice as much as in all riches. Lord, teach me your statutes. Alleluia, alleluia. You have but one Father in heaven. You have but one Master, the Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. <laughs> the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples. Do not be called rabbi. You have but one teacher and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. We're celebrating today the feast of St. Thomas Aquinas, priest and doctor of the church, is known to be the patron of students and especially Catholic students. He is responsible for writing a lot of the 
hymns that we use in the church, especially at benediction. He had been asked by Pope Urban IV to write the Summa Theologiae, and St. Thomas Aquinas is indeed one of the brilliant souls that has been found in the church and continues to inspire many. In the first reading of today, we are told about the importance of prudence. We are told about the importance of wisdom. We are told that wisdom is greater than gold. And compared to all others, gold and wisdom of God is the greatest. This is what it is that St. Thomas Aquinas spent his time working on, working on the wisdom of God, working on spreading the wisdom of God, working on sharing the wisdom of God. And perhaps that's the reason why in the gospel reading, we are told to call no one on earth Abba Father, except one, because wisdom comes from God, and it is only he who shares it with us. May St. Thomas Aquinas inspire every one of us that we may learn at the feet of the Lord the wisdom of God so that many things in this world will become foolishness. Let us pray. For church leaders, that the Lord will continue to guide and bless them and keep them faithful to his gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For public authorities, that the Holy Spirit will guide them in fulfilling their duties with courage and integrity, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For all who are persecuted for their faith in Christ, may God's Holy Spirit uphold and strengthen them, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For this community of believers, may we grow in the gifts of the Holy Spirit through word and sacrament, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all our beloved dead, may they soon come to share in the fullness of Christ's glory in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the intentions of witness mass, for Jean-Claude Glanoida, for whom this mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer for peace in the world, for peace in our hearts, for peace in Russia and in Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal Father, all life and authority has its source in you, and every good gift comes from you. Hear and answer the prayers we offer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Lord, we ask you to give me to the sacrifice which you have achieved with humble and with contrite hearts. Lord, we are going to be able to do that. Pray, my friends, that our offering may be acceptable to God, the Father mm -hmm. Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands. For the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. Grant our supplications, we pray, Almighty God, that these sacrificial offerings of your people, which we bring you in commemoration of blessed Thomas Aquinas, you may graciously mingle with the gifts of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation 
always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts by their way of you to offer as an example, by communion with them, you give us companionship, by their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the, red, red before, in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels, with a great company of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is you who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Thomas Aquinas, and all the saints who have <coughs> pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O oh glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Do not look at our many sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share the peace with one another.
Lamb of God. Beloved, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are we who have come to share at the supper of the Lamb. Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I Amen. believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we rejoice at the feast day of blessed Saint Thomas Aquinas, we have received the pledge of eternal redemption, O Lord, and we pray that it may be of help to us both now and for the life to come through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. May the Almighty God bless and keep you. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Jesus. Have a good day. Thanks, Jesus.